Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I want to do a video for you that has been um, highly requested, and that is a gear video as far as bushcraft goes. So what is in my bushcraft pack? Hey, out. So like I said, this uh, this has been in high demand. I have a lot of people asking me to do a video like this, uh, curious about what is in my typical bushcraft bag um, as far as day trips and overnighters. Um, so today I did a day trip and I thought I would show you what's in my bag. So first things first, this is my reef knot bag. Um, this, this maker is out of the Netherlands. Uh, this is a wax canvas and leather bag um, with obviously metal buckles. And I absolutely love it. It's more of a, it's a little big for, for just a day bag. Um, but I use it for both day and I have yet to use it for an overnighter because I kind of just got it um, a month or two ago. But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's definitely, it, I think it's a 30 liter pack. So it's definitely really, really good for an overnighter. So right off the hop, underneath the, underneath the top, there is a zippered pocket right here. Here I put my, my truck keys, um, toilet paper, kind of little things like that. These are also two very easily accessible um, side pouches, so maybe we'll start with those. So on this side, drop the leather buckle, I have a fire steel and some paracord. Nothing too crazy in that one. And on this side, I have first off my camera gear. Well, actually, side by side is my camera gear and my uh, first aid kit. I always have this in a very accessible pocket, um, so that it's obviously easy to get to in a pinch. Um, so yeah, and like I said, my camera gear. I just keep in a little canvas pouch. There's all my camera gear there. Obviously the average bushcrafter doesn't need that. Not everyone's filming their videos and stuff. So next up is a little headlamp. This I got from our, our generous subscriber, as we always call him. Uh, he's sent us many things to help out with the channel and everything. This is a tiny little powerhouse uh, right here. This is the Olight, I forget what the model is. Oh, H1R, but it's a neat little light and it's very, very small and light, super light. So I'm excited to try it. And last but not least, a spork. That's it for the two front pockets. Now the main compartment, well, actually we'll start on the side here. So the sides are usually where I keep my ax and my saw. Today I have my saw inside the pack. Um, so this is just my Husqvarna axe, uh, Husqvarna forest axe I believe it is, it's a uh, 26 inch handle, a lot of people give me heck for carrying a full size axe out here, I don't consider this a full size axe, I consider it more of a small forest axe, um, but you do you, I'm gonna do me, so I like carrying this axe, it's light, I can extend my arm out and hold it up still, so it's light enough for me to use. Light enough for me to carry out here. In the main compartment, I actually had my brand new buck saw in its pouch in there. Um, but I'm also out here filming another video, so I, I took it out. Um, so that, that was in the main compartment, and it fit in there perfectly. So again, that's my new, my new uh, buck saw. It's made by Bear Essentials Outdoors. It's very light. Very, very light. Um, and it's beautiful, and it's a beast, so really, really like that. Oh, and it's got my logo on it, so that's very, very cool. Very cool indeed. Thank you, DJ. Um, I'll, have, I'll have a link to everything I use here, probably except stuff like this, because you can get that anywhere, and paracord and stuff, but the rest I'll, I'll have linked. So I have a water bottle. Any water bottle will do. Um, I really, really want to get a titanium water bottle. This is just a cheap metal water bottle. 
Metal is great because when you're doing an overnighter, let's say in the cold, um, you can boil water and put that in it. It keeps you warm all night. I don't love doing that in a in an algae just because the plastic particles and stuff like that. Um, so metal, metal is good, but I really don't like the plastic lid on this one, so I'm looking for a better option. Um, my food. When I do carry food out here, I normally put it... Uh, I try not to use plastic, so I try to put it just loose, depending on what it is, in in a cotton bag like this. Um, I just like it that way. I use less plastic that way, um, and it kind of gives it, you know, that more traditional feel to it. Because back in the day, they did not have plastic to cover everything in. Next up, I have my titanium pot. This is made by Tokes. Nice small little pot. The odd time, I don't do it often, but sometimes I will bring a kettle out with me. This one's just made, it's just a cheap anodized aluminum uh, kettle made by Woods. So, that's pretty good. Sometimes, again, not always, I will bring a coffee mug. This one's been great to me, I've had it for years. Okay, second to last is my tarp. Again, not something I always bring, um, but uh, on, a, on a rainy day or times when you're not sure or on an overnighter, I uh, usually do a tarp shelter if it's not bug season. Um, and this is my tarp. This is the AquaQuest 10x10 guide tarp. And AquaQuest is actually sending a few more things over, so um, that's pretty cool. I really They're a really good company. I've had this tarp for probably going on three years, three or four years and it's still going very strong. Uh, it's still nylon, it's super light, and packs up pretty small. I also have my paracord in there. This is a big chunk of paracord right here, so when you, all things considered, it packs up really small and light. I typically have some leather gloves with me, not in the warmer months. I don't love wearing gloves, um, but obviously when it's cooler or when, I'm, when I know I'll be handing a lot of fire stuff, leather gloves are really good. And a lot of people ask me about these as well. Any leather glove will do you out here. Um, these are actually not very great. They're not of thick leather. So I can't handle anything too hot for too long, that's for sure. And they're just a, like a, just a brand that I found in a local store. Like I don't, I don't have a specific brand for these. Um, but again, any leather glove will do. Cowhide, deer hide. These are sheepskin, I think. Again, they're not great. And and as you can see, they have really, really warped from handling stuff in the fire and stuff like that. They've really shrunk. But, whatever. They do the trick. And, the very last thing in my bag today, that I almost always, actually I do, I always bring this, is a sit pad. So that might look different for everyone. Uh, some people have like canvas sit pads, some people have, you know, blue foam pads. Um, I really like using a reflective pad. Yes, it's hideous, don't get me wrong. It does not match in the bushcraft world, but it's very practical. It sheds water, obviously it's, obviously it's waterproof. It reflects the heat back to you when you sit on it. Um, so that's, that's really what I like it for. Again, I know it's ugly and it doesn't really fit the whole shebang, but it's very practical. That's it. That's all I got. And there you have it, the whole shebang. Okay, now just before I end this video, I'll also talk a little bit about clothes that I wear while I'm out here. Um, so in the colder months, I've always got a puffy jacket on. Well, I guess the shoulder seasons, like today is a beautiful spring day. Um, so I have my puffy jacket on. Um, I always have a base layer of some kind. Some kind. <laughs> I always have a base layer of some kind on. This one is a, just like a synthetic one, which I'm not really happy about, but I'm kind of just wearing it till it wears out. Um, and I also, the best thing you can wear out here is wool, as far as base layers go. Um, and I do have a wool base layer that I like to wear as well. Um, so that's that's the upper half, really. When it gets really cold, I'll have a good mid layer and a 
a bigger jacket on. Um, as far as pants go, these are the pants I'm wearing today. These are just a very old, they used to be jet black and now they're like gray. These are just a very old uh, Columbia pant that I found at Cabela's one time like four or five years ago. Um, yeah, they're not the best quality and they've faded a lot, but hey, they've done the trick up to this point. My favorite pants to wear for bushcraft, anything bushcraft, anything working in the woods, is my Fall Raven Keb trousers. Uh, they're just, the quality on them is pretty unbeatable. Um, yeah, and I love, I love all the pockets and everything and you can wax them uh, to make them a little bit more resistant to the elements. These have been my go-to shoes. These are hikes. They're made by hikes. And they're called the Scouts. So the Hikes Scout model. And uh, they have a really cool lace-up system. Kind of like a snowboarding boot. You just tighten that down. And then it tucks into that little pocket there. And these are locking. So you can lock in the tightness here. And then only have to lace up what's up here every time you put them on. So they're a great boot, they're Gore-Tex, they've held up amazingly. Hike sent them to me like months and months ago, I think back in the fall, uh, they sent them to me. And they've got really good traction, they're very breathable, and also uh, very, very waterproof. I've stepped in water probably up until here, maybe even a little higher, and have not gotten my feet wet. So the Gore-Tex really works on that. I've also treated them just with a like a beeswax thing that I made at home. Um, but yeah, I really, really like these boots. They're super comfortable. They go up, uh, I think they're about a six inch height. And I really like them. I was skeptical when they before they sent them to me, but they've been my go-tos for sure. I'd probably wear something a little lighter on in like mid-summer, but as far as the three other seasons, definitely love them. Hey guys, I need to interrupt this video for a second because I pulled a real me and forgot two things. Uh, the first thing I forgot is literally my favorite tool that I have out in the bush with me and I have it every time I go out. And number two, I forgot to film an outro. So, um, so this is it. The piece of gear I forgot, obviously a knife. I talk about knives in almost every one of my videos. Uh, this is one of my favorites. It's made by Saku Honkalati. And I absolutely love it. It's a beautiful knife, little puko. Another knife I really like to use, I actually don't have with me because I sent it away to get a sheath made for it, um, a leather one. But it's one of my Virtus knives, uh, the Virtus Traveler. And uh, like I said, I sent it away to get a, a leather sheath made for it. I'm going to show you guys that knife as soon as I get it back. Um, and then I'll tell you who the maker is of the sheath and everything. Um, so this is my outro. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Uh, maybe to those who are looking into bushcraft gear and stuff like that. It's not something that needs to be expensive. You don't need the best gear. You don't need the most expensive gear. Um, that Husqvarna axe is probably running you about 100 bucks Canadian. Just use what you have. Um, that's the, the best thing you can have is knowledge and the gear that you already have. So definitely use that as much as you can. You don't need to go out and buy new gear. You don't have to buy fancy knives. Um, my, the knife I started out with was Bushcraft Black. And I absolutely love that thing. I still have it, and and it was uh, it was less than a hundred bucks Canadian. So, so anyways, uh, thanks for watching this video. If you got this far, um, please go check out my Instagram below. I also started a new Instagram for the future second channel that I'm going to be starting. Um, if you haven't seen anything about that, please watch my the video before this. Um, but yeah, that's about it for today, guys. Thanks very much. As I said, I'm going to link everything that I can find links to. Um, in the description box below so if you have questions um, and yeah let me know what you guys use or what you guys prefer stay tuned for next week's video it'll be uh, a little day trip Ryan and I did with the canoe and until then take care and stay positive about this whole situation and, uh, and yeah I'll see you then bye